This evening is bittersweet. It's bitter because I know that probably most of us have been affected by breast cancer in some way. And that maybe this past year, you know someone who's been diagnosed, someone who's going through treatment, maybe somebody who didn't make it. But the sweet part is that you are part of something magnificent. You're here tonight. You're supporting an unbelievable foundation who has done so much for so many people and is going to continue to do so whilst people like you are being so phenomenal and helping so very, very much. Well, each year we hear about the progress that the Breast Cancer Research Foundation scientists have made, which is incredibly inspiring. But at the same time, I always hear about more people who've been diagnosed, who are undergoing treatment, not all of whom make it. So there's a, a, a huge reason for us to turn up every year. This has been in my calendar every year for, it must be over 25 years now. It's a great event. We see the same faces year after year, people who are just passionate to support this cause. Um, they turn up, they write checks, they raise money, and we make progress. It's a wonderful motivation for coming. I think she'd be absolutely thrilled if Evelyn was still here. Um, there's been more progress in treatments and diagnosis since she passed, and I think she'd have been thrilled to hear about those. I think she'd know that the momentum is just building and building and building until we reach the end. So I think she'd be very happy. One more. Thank you. I want to live in a world where I know that my children, my friends, each of you in this room, and everyone around the world will never have to fear hearing the words you have breast cancer. I'm just incredibly humbled and, um, and so, so honored. Evelyn was my friend and my inspiration to get involved in this cause. I'm a survivor myself. I had breast cancer very, very young. Evelyn took me under her wing and guided me with a lot of decisions I had to take when I was going through treatment. And it is truly my honor to pick up her mantle today and lead her organization forward. I hope that we're gonna put ourselves out of business. That's what I hope, and I hope we're going to find a cure, and I hope that no woman will ever hear the words, you have breast cancer, um, again. One more. Thank you. This way right here. Well, you know, it's such an honor for me, number one, to be able to present an award named for my mother and for the efforts she started over 30 years ago in starting the breast cancer campaign and the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. To have an award and have the first award go to Kinga Lampert, who is my good friend and my partner and co-chair in leading this amazing foundation is just a perfect combination. I am here because my beautiful grandmother, Evelyn Lauder, started BCRF uh, and sh this is the best way that we can honor her legacy in women empowering other women, raising money for this ever important cause, saving lives. And BCRF is the way that we connect as a family. We connect over the power of research and the power of women and that is what the Lauder family is all about. There is so much amazing research being done now and making sure it's available to everyone is key. Because this is such an incredible organization and I've I've been coming to these events for, for years and it's so important. And actually my mother passed away of breast cancer. So it's just, it's such an important cause and we're also honoring Kinga tonight. And she's done so much work for this organization. I mean, research is, it's so important. And, and I would also encourage young women to go into science and, and research as well. And right over here, but that was the engineer was the mystery.
right That's here. One. Well, my family has it on both sides of the family. I have a breast cancer gene, so I did a prophylactic double mastectomy. And I feel like without the work that they're doing, they wouldn't have had all of this early detection programs and knowing about the gene. And I, I just, I probably wouldn't have made it. Because BCRF wants to go out of business. They, their goal is to eradicate this disease. It's, it's just about finding a cure. And I think the resources behind it are extraordinary. And so if you really think about what are the organizations that can create change, this organization has the resources to do the research to eradicate cancer. And I think that makes it truly special. And straight ahead. You know, research is really the key to finding, um, you know, the, the future solutions to cures as well as better treatment. So we love this event. We've been coming for a long time. It's a beautiful event. You know, a lot of uh, beautiful people come together, celebrate, you know, women survivors as well as those that want to support this great cause. And we're certainly here tonight for, for Kinga Lampert. I think besides being the largest and one of the earliest, I think it's because they have the best and the brightest researchers. And to be able to know who you're supporting and to see the work that they're doing and how it impacts your actual life has just really meant everything to me. I think it's so important to all women um, being diagnosed four years ago to the week. I can tell you that all of the research that has been done here and all of the investigators that have been funded through BCRF really worked on treatments that I received right away that were life-saving. So I, I, you know, I have never felt such a sense of gratitude, but also such, such a sense of duty and purpose to help other women and to support BCRF in any way that I can. I think BCRF is so important because they're the number one, they are the tip top and the number one funder of all of the most important new breakthrough research and treatments anywhere on the planet. So they have the best investigators, they have the furthest reach all over the world.